sounds fine opening it. Let's close it. That's pretty squeaky. Oh, let's shut it. Over time, the garage door will get pretty squeaky. If you don't uh, lube up the hinges and grease up the track. And this doesn't really uh, squeak. I mean, it's still got some grease on it, but it's good to lube it up. It usually quiets it down. So first off, I'm going to spray the hinges with good old WD-40. hate these shoes. Oh boy. So, there we go. Let's put it on. There's no hinge there. <laughs> Only three hinges. After I pay my insurance, I'm getting new shoes. Repeat the following for the rest of the hinges. The hinges are now lubed up, and it's a good place to start with uh, lubing up the whole system here. Let's try this again. Gotta replace the bulbs too. So it's not our hinges, it's our little wheels. I can't even see the one wheel down there, I'm just gonna spray blood. Where's that spider that was over here? There's a big ass motherfucking spider right here. And then repeat the same thing you did on the other side. Alright, wheels are lubed up, let's try it again. Ah, not as noisy. It's the, the upper wheel. Alright, here we go again. light finally went out. Well, I should just stop moving. Um. Okay, it is working. Again, I guess it got too hot. Or just being a douche. God, I fucking hate these shoes. Okay, time to grease it up. Interesting, huh? Let's uh, run the garage door opener. Throw some more grease up on the top there later. And then uh, 
got to repeat the other side. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut the door. Basically what you did to the, or what I did to the other, the tracks, I'm going to do the same, basically the same thing to this. Prepare to have grease fall on you. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. going to stay quiet forever. It's going to get noisy over time as the grease gets uh, packed in and broken down into the uh, uh, drive shaft. So just a little reminder that it will get noisy again over time. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the excess, get it all cleaned up. All right, now we can wipe away the excess, get a little garbage can ready. Look at that, look at that old goop. There, if you ever park your car in the garage and you start moving this thing around, grease won't splat on your car. All right, let's go ahead and shut it again. years or so we're gonna end up replacing this garage door motor all right so that's taken care of now it's time to uh, change the light bulbs out and there's only one holding it into the metal so there's the bulbs I normally use the little fluorescent fluorescent ones this cover is kind of warped a little bit One screw in here is pretty convenient anyway, so. Yeah, this one went out like a, a month ago. I think. Or actually not even a month, pretty recent. Time to put the new bulbs in. This is really easy. If you don't know how to figure this out on your own. Here it's screwed. No. All right, let's see, another screw on that side. Come on, hurry up, my feet are killing me. Where does this screw into? door motor now. I think the shaft is getting pretty worn out. 